preached to like background music before. We could try that. I mean, you could just keep it going. <laughs> like climactic areas of the message, you can like turn it up a little louder. That'd be great. No. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm going to ask you again because I'll be for it. That was just fake waiting for the video to start. But good morning this morning, right? Good morning. Yes, amen. So um, I have a quick word for you this morning, and it really is quick, I promise. Um, but the title for the message this morning is Honor of the Shepherd. And so we're going to be looking at just a couple key points throughout Scripture. Um, we're going to begin in Romans chapter 12, verse 10, where Paul speaks there, and he says, to give honor to whom honor is owed. And I love this, to outdo one another with showing honor. To outdo one another with showing honor. And today, being Pastor's Appreciation Day, that's just what we're doing, right? We're trying to outdo one another in some little kind competitiveness, maybe, um, in giving Pastor Steve the honor that his position deserves as our lead pastor of the church. Amen. And so um, there's no better than today, no better day than today and to do that and um, to let Pastor Steve know that his love for the people and his devotion to this ministry has meant so much to us. And so I pray that whether you were able to be interviewed or whether you were in on the skit or whether you've written a card or given a gift today, that that is what your heart expresses to him in that. And so whether he has pointed you to Christ whether he has given you a word of encouragement, whether he has prayed the prayer of faith over you for a situation in your own life or that of a loved one, um, it's important to take time to give honor to where it's due. And it's important to pray blessing and, and speak accolades and give thank yous um, to him because he is the shepherd of this house. And so... Um, it's a thankless job a lot of times. It's a job that takes on hours and, and things that you wouldn't dream of or um, that any pastor wouldn't even dream of before they get in that position, okay? But this is a time set aside today, October 10th, to give honor where honor is due. And so it's often the case, for myself anyway, that when I see someone honoring the life of another it actually sheds more light on their own integrity and on their own character even more than it does on the one that they're showing the honor to. And that's what I've seen. I've witnessed that today. I've witnessed that in the weeks leading up to today and the different work that has went into um, pulling it off today. Um, it kind of helped that Pastor Steve and Miss Jessica went out of town this whole past week. Um, and so we were able to get a little bit of extra things put together but um, I've witnessed that. I've witnessed you all coming together. I've witnessed you giving honor to him. And so whether it was ideas that were shared or lyrics that were written or um, a Mercy Music team that learned a brand new song in a split second so that they could do that this morning, whether it was the interviews that were had or the videos that were edited, thank you, Justin, um, or the costumes that were unearthed and <laughs> borrowed from uh, somewhere else, um, or the cards and the gifts uh, that were brought in even before service this morning. They've been trickling in for weeks even uh, to be given to Pastor Steve later. And then those things have been seen by myself as I've watched these different things take place, but they're also going to be seen and they're going to be heard by Pastor Steve as he opens each card and as he reads each note and then he receives probably more hugs and more thank yous and more I love yous than he even does on a normal or a typical Sunday morning, right? And so most of all, though, I want you to know that each of those things are going to be recorded in heaven because you've each fulfilled scripture in doing each of these things. And that scripture is found in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 27, and it says, do not withhold good from whom it is due when it is in your power to act. Do not withhold good from whom it is due when it is in your power to act. And it's in each of our power in some way to act on behalf of Pastor Stephen, to tell him thank you, and to tell Miss Jessica thank you. Uh, I think the most favorite part of that song to me was, thank you, Jessica, for reining him in. <laughs> Ain't no woman can do what you've done for him. <laughs> Let me tell you about my pastor, okay? So um, 
these things, they might seem insignificant, okay? But even if they seem insignificant to you, well, I didn't do that much, or I didn't have anything to put in a card, or all I did was told him thank you and gave him a hug, they might seem insignificant, okay? But they actually speak volumes to those who are ministers of the word, to those who are called by Christ and who are pastors and shepherds, okay? Just as Christ is the great shepherd. These pastors and shepherds are gifts to the churches by Christ himself, okay? And I don't say that because I stand up here as one of them, okay? But scripture tells us that I will give you shepherds according to my own heart. And we're going to get into that in a second. And so those he calls, he qualifies, and we all say thank you, Jesus, right? Each and every one of you have a calling on your life, whether you've discovered that or not, okay? And I hope that when you do discover it, that it looks big and it looks overwhelming and it looks like too much to take on because it is if you do it in yourself, okay? But he qualifies those that he calls and he gives them the strength and the ability to, to work out and to walk out those callings. And so each and every one that are put in ministry for in any position, okay, we know that he qualifies. And so those who do his will and share his love, those who proclaim his name and use the authority that he's given, those who turn each and everything around for his glory, all right, those are the ones that deserve honor. And today that's for Pastor Steve. And so Jeremiah 3.15 there says, And I will give you shepherds according to my heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Think of that. Now the NIV there says lead you and the new living translation says guide you and the new king james version says feed you so think of that pastors in general are to lead you they're to guide you and they're to feed you and then they do so by shepherding the flocks that god has given them in their charge okay and we are here today to show appreciation to pastor steve for doing just that to everyone at mercy amen He leads you, he guides you, and he feeds you. What does he feed you? He feeds you the word of God. Yeah. He might feed you from the food pantry. He might feed you at an outreach, okay? But we're talking about spiritual food. And he feeds you from the word of God. And so this figure of a shepherd we see first spoken of by Jesus himself. And it was spoken in um, John chapter 10, verse 10. He says, I am the good shepherd. And the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. In Hebrews 13, 20, he's referred to as the great shepherd. In 1 Peter 5, 4, he is known as the chief shepherd. And so if we think of those words, just like lead you, guide you, and feed you, if we think of Christ as the good shepherd, the great shepherd, and the chief shepherd, then no illustration so vividly portrays his tender care and his guiding hand, right? And that's who Jesus is to each of us. He has a tender hand, and he guides us and he leads us, okay? And that's what Pastor Steve has been called to himself. And that's what he endeavors toward each and every day when he wakes up, for your sake, each and every day. He doesn't do it for his own sake, okay? Well, he probably does, because (laughs) it tells us in, what, Peter or James, it tells us in James that uh, teachers are going to be held to a higher or a stronger judgment. So he probably does do it for his sake also because there's going to be a stronger judgment (laughs) for ones that bring the word. But he does it for your sake, okay? Tender care and a guiding hand. Think of those two um, descriptions there. So to hear God speak through the prophet there, through the prophet Jeremiah, that he would give shepherds according to his heart to feed you with knowledge and understanding. And then knowing that Pastor Steve endeavors to do so as a true shepherd, right, with tender care and a guiding hand, that brings us to Philippians chapter 3, verse 17. And here we see Paul, and he's speaking to the church at Philippi. And and as he opens up his letter with such grace-filled words like he always does, okay, we then get to chapter 3, and he gives words of assurance that if the church followed in his footsteps and in the footsteps of the others that were leading them, then they would make heaven their home. And I want you to think of how strong of a statement that is, and we're going to read it. It's Philippians chapter 3, verse 17. He says, 
Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters. And just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. Those are big words spoken by Paul. Okay? And those are big words that are needing lived out by the pastors placed over you in the Lord. By Pastor Steve as your lead pastor, by Pastor Jerry and I as your associate pastors. Those are heavy things when we come to them in Scripture and read them. Okay? Because James 3.1 says that we will be judged more strictly when we teach the word. And so as one of your pastors, I assure you that what we have been called to is taken very seriously by us. We don't take much seriously. That's what I said. My favorite thing about Pastor Steve is that he doesn't take himself too seriously because that'll get us all in trouble, amen? We end up like Pharisees when we take ourselves too seriously. And so God created laughter, and, and he loves to see his children enjoying life and enjoying ministry. It's not supposed to be drudgery, okay? And so there are times where we laugh and we joke and we have lots of fun, and that's what I love about each and every one of you. There's only a couple of you in here that I don't know yet if you know how to have fun. And I'm still praying for you. <laughs> but I can assure you that we do take what we do seriously, even if we like to joke and we like to be light about a lot of things. When it comes down to rightly dividing the word of truth, when it comes down to feeding you, you know, when Jesus was speaking to Peter and he says, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? And finally, Peter says, Lord, you know. But what did he do? He told him, feed my sheep. Yep. Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord. Feed my lambs. And what does that mean? It means that not everybody are full-grown, mature sheep yet. Some of them are just little baby lambs who can't yet have the meat of the word, right? And so it is a pastor's job to be able to, or one of, to be able to take the word, rightly divide it, figure out what it's saying, present it to the people, and present it to the lambs to where there's enough milk that they can take from it, and present it to the sheep that there's enough to chew on to get you through the week, Amen. right? Amen. And so that is part of the responsibility. So although we like to be light and although we like to have fun, all right, we also take these things very, very seriously. And I can assure you that Pastor Steve does that too, whether you believe me or not. Um, <laughs> So I want to tell you, on behalf of Pastor Jerry, I didn't ask him if it was okay to use his name, but I'm going to because it's the position that he has. So on behalf of Pastor Jerry and myself, and especially Pastor Steve, I want to assure you that we do just that. And I want to tell you that you can follow our example. I want to tell you that you can take us as a model. I want to tell you that you can keep your eyes on those who live as we do and that in the process, we're going to take as many with us as we can on our journey toward heaven. Amen? So at this time, I told you it was going to be short. Y'all are surprised, aren't you? At this time, we're going to ask Mercy Music to come back up. They're going to close us out just in normal worship like they do. But as they do that, we're going to have Pastor Steve and Miss Jessica come up. And if Pastor Steve wants to 